this demonstration is going to show you how to make this single pearl ring it's made using a 0.8 and a 0.4 wire and obviously a single beautiful pearl so we're going to get started and I'm going to move the ring out of the way um, and get going right to start off you'll need three lengths of um, 0.8 wire so we're going to take three lengths I'm going to take the top two now the lengths of these wires obviously dependent on the size of the ring um, but you're looking at a, about a five between five and a six inch okay so then what we're going to do we're going to take a length of the 0.4 and now for demonstration purposes I'm actually using um, a different colored colored wire so what you will do is you will start weaving in about an inch or so just to give you enough room to make the detail on the ring okay so to start off we're going to wrap around the top two twice quite loosely because we need to come up between the two so wrap around the top two around the back through the two there okay and then introduce the third wire so we're going to pop that in next to it and what we're looking at doing is wrapping two around two so that's one and two and now the next wrap is the top two so we're going to come across the back over the front and through the bottom two so that's one and two and then so now the bottom two need to be wrapped so we come up through the top two and wrap around the bottom two and you repeat that so by going across the back through the bottom two and wrap two so remember we're wrapping the top two twice and then the bottom two twice and then that gives you a really nice weave there but it also gives you on the reverse side a different looking weave so it's up to you which side you use so at this stage you're going to continue that weave until you've got enough of the weave to go around the ring mandrel just slightly larger than the size that you require okay so I'm going to show you that now so we bring in our ring mandrel I'm sorry about the the focus and then we're going to pop it onto our ring mandrel and wrap wrap around okay so we're going to wrap around and I'm going to go up smaller than than I need so that they cross over at that point there okay so now I'm going to bring it down to my ring size that I roughly want so it's just sort of slightly larger there okay so I'm going to take the ring mandrel out now we've got our ring shape we've got our wire on the top we've got three on either side and we've got our gap in the middle so now I wanted an offset um, ring shank so I'm just going to open that out and our pearl is going to sit across that section there you can bring them together or you can have them so it's entirely up to you um, but now at this stage I'm going to bring in the pearl that I'm going to use and I'm going to kick out the two outer ones of this side here okay and then I'm going to pop on my pearl so remember this is a point eight um, and the pearl is going on to onto a point eight okay so now we're going to bring that down that was a little bit tight so I'm just going to pull that down with with some pliers there okay so now that pearl is sitting where I want it to be okay I'm just going to bring that round a little bit and open it out a bit more because then once that pearl is in position I'm going to bring that wire over and we're going to secure it at that point there okay so I'm happy where that pearl is sitting actually I might just try and pull that down slightly more just so that it's closer on this side there we go and then I'm going to bring that round I'm going to take our wire I'm going to hold everything in place here this excess wire here is going to be wrapped around the ring shank I'm going to use pliers just so that my hands are not in the way just so you can see see what I'm doing okay I'm going to bring that around and back onto the top give that a bit of a squidge so that's nice and tight there and we're going to cut this off now I'm going to cut it off at a point just before the edge of the ring shank 
So I'm going to lift that up slightly and cut that off. Okay. So now what that allows me to do is actually press that down with, with my pliers and when I press it down it'll go into the, the weave but it won't stick out at this point so you get no sharp sharp edges. Okay. So now we've got our, I'm going to bring in the ring mandrel just to pop that back on and to make sure that we're again at the size that we want. So basically that's the, the frame of the ring. So we've got our woven band and our pearl in place. So now the rest of it is, is detail, it's decoration. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kink out these two just for now and work on the middle one. Um, and I'm going to bring it back. So what I'm going to do is pop my finger in there, bring it back as if I'm going to wrap around the top just there. And it's, as you pop your finger on and bring the wire around, it helps to keep the wire warm, but it also helps you to get a really nice flow. So I've got that nice bend in the wire there. So I'm going to pop my finger on there and bring that around. Okay, so that's going to be my first first detail. So now I'm just going to shape that a little bit, hold it in place and bring it around. So that's my first um, wire wrap detail there. So I'm going to bend that round and again what we're going to do is bring that through the ring shank again using my pliers just to make sure that that's nice and tight but you can see what I'm doing. So there, so that's the first wrap and again cutting that off so that we've got enough to secure down but it's not going to stick out at the end okay so that's my first wrap and now obviously you can just continue doing this as as far as you want so I'm going to do the same again so we're going to bring that around so I'm sort of mimicking the the other side and you can bring that in Bring that up to that point, bring that around, and again wrap at that point just there. I'm just going to bring that through there, use my pliers again, bring that up, and just repeating every time what we've done is cut off that short of the um, of the ring band and Squishing that down so it's nice and nice and smooth and there's no sharp edges okay and it's best to do this at each stage rather than finishing the ring and then completing it so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to finish off by just finishing off with the extra wire really so we're going to again wrap that around bring that in bring that across you could do a little little swirl there if you wanted to but I quite like the um, the uniformity of having these wraps here. So again, squishy that one down. So that side's done. So that side has got the detail on it. On this side, we've got extra wire. So again, you can do do whatever you want with it. But I'm just going to do some simple plain wraps and open that one out slightly. There, move this out of the way so we can work. So we've got getting this wrapped nice and closely. And again, wrap around, cut that off. Cut that, make sure you've got a clean cut. There we go. Shape that back up. Squishy that in. And you've got that nice detail there. You can do this ring as well with just two wires um, and then obviously you've got uh, less of the detail. And again, I'm happy with that wrap there, so keep it as close as you can. And once you get to this stage, it's obviously uh, a lot of repetitive um, technique, um, but it just makes it really nice and neat. So that's nice and neat there. Okay, so you can see that's completed there so we've got our ring shank so again I'm just going to pop that on make sure it's nice and neat these sections here you can actually go in with your pliers if you want to and flatten them down but that's 
are you Mike? That ring.